Hey YouTubians, it's Tony here from We Try Anything, the channel likes to try anything so you don't have to. In today's video, what we're going to take a look at is another watch from the Casio range, and I believe this is more from the sports range that Casio has to offer. And this time we're taking a look at the Casio SGW100 digital watch. So, as usual with the watch reviews that we undertake on the channel, we will be looking around the Casio SGW100 highlighting some of the materials used, the design of the watch, and mentioning some of the sizes along the way. We will then go through some of the functions that this watch has to offer, pop it on our wrist, and say it's like to wear. There are instructions to this watch linked in the description box below, and we will also be undertaking a tutorial video about how to use the Casio SGW100 very soon. Now, some of the watches that I have purchased for the channel, this, this one's no different. This one is another eBay purchase. Now, again, the reason why I go for the eBay purchase, and this is a really good example, I like to show how these watches wear, but in this instance, it's not actually that bad. I mean, obviously, there's no scratches on the screen, uh, which I'll discuss later, but there is obviously scratches on what would be the case. Um, some of the decals are starting to disappear, as it will be rubbed off, and uh, it just gives you an insight into how these watches do wear over time. The other thing to mention is that this watch is available in what is a, a different color. Now the different color being in that you do get a negative, I'm, I'm just quickly showing you a little uh, picture of it here. You do get a negative display and I believe it does have elements of black and orange in the actual case really, but the biggest difference is that negative display. So if, you, if you're not a big fan of this type of watch or the look of this watch, then there is an alternative one for you to have a look at. So with all that out of the way, let's take a closer look at the Casio SGW100 that we have featured here. Now to kick things off, um, this has a resin, as you can see here, an aluminium construction, which measures about 47.6 millimeters in diameter. And in this instance, what you can see is that um, the, the, the actual bezel part, which I believe is the actual aluminium part, does have the um, north, south, east and west compass directions emblazoned on it and I will discuss why that is the case later on. You do get four pushers here which has a you know the nice little indents here just for fric added friction so you can just press these buttons without your fingers slipping off and stuff like that and um, it, is, it is quite G-Shock-esque without the G-Shock price. I mean, obviously you don't get the G-Shock protection as well, but it does have that quite rugged, sporty element to it. Carrying on with the sizes from top to bottom, you have a what is known as a lug to lug. So from there to there, it is measuring 51.2. Case thickness is 30 millimeters approximately. And that is from the uh, case back to what would be the protruding bezel or as it were the resin case part here um, and obviously the actual dial window is recessed very slightly inside. In terms of the strap you do have a very nice um, fairly thick uh, robust what would be a black resin strap which has some very nice detailing going on and it does have the ribbon effect going on there and a very nice what would be aluminium just underneath there just to allow the inner lug to be not exposed and it does have a what is a plastic pin and buckle now in terms of sizes for the actual strap you are looking at it's got a width here of i've measured about 24 millimeters just before the ribbon what goes on here and it does taper to about 20 millimeters just here at the bottom or just here before the actual uh, pin and buckle and you do have a resin strap retainer as well or what i would call a strap strap retainer now, in terms of weight, you're looking at about 55 grams, and it's not a heavy watch by any stretch of the imagination. And that's it, to be fair. I mean, you do have some very nice detailing going on here, um, and a little bit of detailing going on there, which mentions the twin sensor and obviously the water resistance, which I'll just quickly nip on to right now. So quickly on the back, what you're looking at is a stainless steel um, back. And I didn't mention that this one has a module number of 3157. So you've got a stainless steel back. And as, as is mentioned on the, um, what is the stainless steel back and the actual strap, it does have a water resistance of 200 meters or what is known as 20 bar, which is, it's quite phenomenal for these type of watches, especially in the price point what these watches are normally featured at. This dial window is a flat mineral glass, which is unlike the acrylic glass um, watches that I've mentioned of in what would be the more kind of, not so much budget range, but the the, the lower end of the, of the um, 
what Casio charge for. Um, obviously, acrylic glass does tend to scratch uh, quite not easily, but obviously, if you do get it caught on something, you will notice that it will pick up scratches and micro abrasions. Now, with this one, this is a mineral glass, as I mentioned, and that normally means that it has a slightly a, a better resistance to breaking and scratching as the glass is heat hardened during the manufacturing process. Now, obviously that, that helps in terms of scratches and wear and stuff like that. But in terms of um, watches at this price point, which I think I've seen for about 40 or 50 pound on Amazon, it is a quite a nice little feature and it does add to the slight ruggedness of this watch. And if it is a, a watch that you are looking for a, like a, a better dial window to it, where it doesn't scratch as easily as some of the other um, examples that I have showed on this channel, then maybe the SGW100 is the watch for you. Now, as I've mentioned, it does have 200 millimeters water resistance. It also has a quartz movement, which is has an accuracy of, now this one's a slightly more accurate watch than some of the other uh, quartz powered watches that are featured on the channel, of plus and minus 20 seconds per, per month, which is, which is fantastic really for something like this in this price point. Now, moving on to the actual display of the watch, it goes without saying, or the actual module, this is super easy to read. I mean, it is massive. And I love the circular nature of this um, dial going on here. It is a really, really, uh, I can. I bet you can tell I really do like this, a really nice watch to wear. And also it's a really nice watch to glean the time from. I mean, obviously you've got the date and the day going on here. Uh, it's in simple form, you've got the time, seconds going on there. And obviously it does change depending on the mode that you are in, so obviously it will world time and stuff like that. The other thing you will notice, which I will talk about in a bit, is that it does have some indicators going around the actual edge of the dial. And that is for the compass that this watch has. Now, obviously, as you can see there, you know, I can't really hide it from me. It does have a digital compass built in as well as a thermometer, which I shall talk about in a bit. Now, I will say in terms of the actual dial, you can probably notice that there is a slight amount, of, well, there is an amount of ghosting going on here. Now you can see it on camera and I can see it in true life, but what I will say, I mean, other than, you know, the little bit of, I don't know if this watch has been open in the past and has got some kind of dirt going on there. I'm not too sure, but it is, it's not off putting any stretch of the imagination. I mean, it is, you can see it more or so on camera, um, but in real life, it's not that bad and it certainly doesn't flicker really. Now, as well as the actual, um, obviously the display, it does feature what is known as an electroluminescent backlight display. And it's not one that highlights the whole background. It just highlights what is the actual, whatever characters or whatever digits you have got on the main screen. So I'll just uh, show you an example of the light going on here. And I think it just goes on for an, a second and a half. But as you press it, as you can see, it does highlight the actual um, the numbers and obviously the text going on here. Now. It's not super bright in, in real life. I mean, obviously the camera does make it pick up a little bit more, but that might be down to a new, a rec this watch requiring a newer battery. I'm not too sure, but you know, you can read the time in darkness or semi-darkness, which is good. Now, as well as the uh, electroluminescent feature, this watch also features what would be a 24 hour uh, format. So it's obviously 12 or 24 hour. It also features a full auto calendar that'll work up to 2099, which means once it's set, it'll take into account kind of leap years and stuff like that. So it's kind of fire and forget calendar. It features daylight saving time, which can be turned on, turned on and turned off via the adjust button going on there as well. And it also features a mute sound option as well. So as well as the other these features mentioned here, let's take a quick look at what else the SGW has to offer. Now, it goes without saying this watch does mention that it is a twin sensor watch. Now that means that this watch has a digital compass and it also has a thermometer built into it as well. Now, with my experience with the thermometers built into some of the Casio watches that I've reviewed on the channel, with this one being the uh, Casio AQF, 102W, um, which I've done a review of. I'm gonna say, with the sensors on this watch, it, I would probably take as a pinch of salt, really. I mean, it does give you a, a fairish idea of the actual ambient temperature going on in the room, but what I've found with this watch, so I'll just activate it here, what I've found with this watch, that it does tend to pick up a little bit more when you're wearing it of your body heat as well. So I'm not gonna say how accurate it is. I mean, I have looked at the weather today for um, what would be Sunderland where this is filmed. 
and it is around 11 or 12 degrees so if i just activate the compass again or the digital thermometer so it's not too far off it uh, to be to be honest but as i say when you do wear it it does become a little bit more than what the ambient temperature temperature is so just be aware of that fact now the other sensor that this watch features which i've just quickly highlighted on earlier is that this watch also has a digital compass built in. So if I just press the compass button again, what you'll see is obviously you've got the actual dials kind of illumin as it were uh, activating around the, the edges of the dial. And um, what this points to is what would be north. Now, again, what I would say is, I mean, obviously as you turn the watch around, um, I'm just trying to aim for what would be north in this instance. So you've got north, northeast. Now, this watch does require some calibration and what I would say, I mean, I have tried calibrating, but there is quite a process to this and I've listed the instructions below and I will be doing a tutorial about how to calibrate this watch, but it is a little bit, it's a little bit, um, you know, it's a little bit, not complicated, but it's a little bit involved. But what I find is, is if obviously the iPhone, I've compared it to what would be the iPhone, um, compass and it is a little off now when you do have it calibrated it, it's not too bad but again i calibrated this the other day or tried to and while it was a, it wasn't too far off what would be on the iphone at the minute i personally wouldn't rely on it 100 percent. so if you're into your orienteering or you're into going out the, the outdoors and you want a digital device that you want to rely on to give you what would be north or anything like that then I'd probably get a cheap compass just in case now while this watch as I say if it is calibrated correctly it probably be spot on but with my experience in using this watch it and you're in a kind of a, um, a situation where you require a compass go and buy a cheap compass for about five or 10 quid just to bring it with you. Now, as I say, in a pinch, this may give you an idea of what your bearings and stuff like that, but just make sure that you have got it calibrated in the way that Casio suggests for you to calibrate this watch. Now, the other features that this watch has, other than the uh, what would be the two sensors that I've mentioned here, is that it has world time. Now, this has world time, which has 29 different time zones, which you can just flick through going on here, which is 48 cities. And you can, fit, as I say, you can flick through the 48 different cities very easily. Now, let's just say... Uh, click onto what would be the next option which is or the next function which is the stopwatch and as you can see here this stopwatch is quite very easy to read especially if you're on a run and stuff like that it does feature what would be a measuring capacity up to what would be an hour or 59 minutes 59 seconds and 99 hundredth of a second so obviously this measure measures in a hundredth of a second and it also features obviously the elapsed time which you can see going on here it will do a split time which i've just shown you just by pressing the adjust button and it also does what's known as first and second place times so i'll just release that just stop that and just uh reset that and as you can see as as is customary with uh casios or some a lot, a lot of the casios have features it does feature the time or what would be the local time going on here which is fantastic now the next one is a timer now this has a measuring unit of one second the countdown range if i just kick it off going on here will count down if obviously if all the uh, digits are zeroed off it will count down from 24 hours now it has a countdown start time range of from one minute to 24 hours and it also features an auto repeat function the other one is the alarms now this watch as well as all the other functions i've mentioned twin sensors countdown stopwatch world time it also features what would be five different alarms or what would be four different alarms with a snooze alarm as well and also it will feature what is known as an hourly time signal which when you turn it on will beep on the hour every hour so what i'm going to do is pop it on my wrist and say it's like to wear so here it is on the wrist and i've got to say the casio sgw 100 is a really nice look watch to look at it's just it's just because, I mean, you've got the nice big crisp display going on here, which is very easy to read from. Um, there's no paraphernalia going on there, which might distract the eye. It is just a very honest, easy to read timepiece. Now, helping the actual look, as I mentioned, is the bezel, uh, the contrasting bezel and case. And I just think it just adds to the overall look and feel of the watch. It's just such a great looking watch to look at. Um, in terms of on the wrist, yeah, it's comfortable. I mean, I've been wearing it for a fair few days since I've got it. And I've got to say, you do forget you're wearing it, really. It's not a heavy watch by any stretch of the imagination. It is a it is a nice watch, really. Um, these ribs don't uh, kind of dig in like they do. you do get on some Casios that 
I have featured on the channel, but the only, my only reason why I would say that would be the case um, is just purely down to the fact that um, this one is a, this watch is a pre-worn watch. So just bear that in mind really. Now the other thing, as I've mentioned, some of the scratches as it were on the case that this would attract may put you off this watch. But again, I don't know how well or how use this watch has been so i can only assume that if you do buy something like this then just be aware that you will pick the scratches up on the uh, bezel and the case but not so much on the door window because obviously it's a, a mineral glass but overall hand movement isn't inhibited the only thing i would mention is obviously i've got a six and a half inch wrist if you've got a thinner wrist than this you will notice is that the, the the more obviously the less the more of the strap you do tend to use as you or the less of the strap this will poke out a bit more so it will poke out quite proud if you have got a smaller wrist so bear that in mind so if you are wearing it with clothes it may impede you putting you like a like a cuff over it or something like that so just bear that in mind um it may not be for the thinnest of wrists but just i have a six and a half inch wrist and it does fit quite well it, it fits easy i mean obviously as i've said doesn't inhibit hand movement and it is a very comfortable watch to wear overall i, I would definitely consider this watch I think it is a nice watch to look at you may want to go for the negative display one which is the same watch as this but obviously the display is the opposite of what's going on here but other than that I mean it's got tons of features it's not massively expensive I think it, it, you can get it for around 40 to 50 at a guess 60 I'm only guessing here at the minute but it, you can get it obviously from the likes of Amazon and stuff like that and it is a nice watch to look at easy to read loads of functions but the only thing I would say is that the, the twin sensors that this watch has, which is the uh, what would be the compass and the thermometer, yeah, pinch of salt. But again, that may be my experience of this watch. And if you do have this watch and you do find the actual sensors a lot more accurate than what I've mentioned here, then mention it in the comments below. I mean, obviously it will help other people who are looking to maybe purchase this watch. But otherwise, a phenomenal watch to look at and a great watch to wear so if you did like this uh, review of the casio sgw 100 click on the old uh, like button always helps the channel you're going to see more videos coming from the we try anything channel including the tutorial of the casio sgw 100 then click on the subscription button below and thank you for watching this video and we look forward to seeing you next time goodbye